Marauders, welcome back to the channel. There's a job I've been putting off for a long time, and that is installing my extra set of rims on the KTM EXC-F 500. I purchased these set of rims, had them fully set up to go on the bike. They're Takasago XL rims, if I said that right. And these are the stock tires that came on the KTM when I purchased it. And then I put on, I had the dealer installed, they thought a better tire for off-road was these Dunlop tires. So I got those because I wanted a better tire off-road because of my experience level. Well, no, who doesn't, even experienced riders. So I put the Dunlops on it for when I rode off-road. I want to put the stock tires back on during the winter time because I have a piece of property that I want to run. I don't want to put it on a trailer during the winter when the weather's nice. I want to drive this to my property on the street and practice riding off road on this property. It's about 15 miles away via the road and then ride it back. I don't want to chew up the knobby tires even though they are DOT rated. And then if I wear those out, which I don't think is going to be anytime soon, but if I wear those out, then I'll select another tire that's maybe an even better off-road tire or strictly an off-road tire. So that's the job for tonight. I'm also going to install this shark fin that's going to protect the road. I love how it matches. What is it with Kate, these manufacturers? These dirt bikes are so colorful. <laughs> I think this bike has more color on it than the Ducati. Um, so this is gonna be, there is no instructions to mount this, very hard to find. The parts guy at the dealership sent me a short video. He had problems finding a video how to mount this, but he found a short video maybe two months ago he sent it to me. I don't even know where it is, I can't find it. But I think I can figure it out. This fin gets mounted like that to protect the rotor. And I actually think it gets mounted on the, uh, look at how it matches over here. Didn't the parts guy do a nice job? Did you can see that? I thought he did a really nice job. That's the job for tonight. I'm gonna try to do at least the, I'm gonna show you mounting of, of both tires by the way, I've never done this before. Even though I have a bunch of tools and looks is pretty impressive. Uh, <laughs> not an expert mechanic. And most of these tools were used on tractors and other things, maintaining them on my property and cars, not necessarily motorcycles. So this is my first, I'm pulling this. I do have the manual and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for coming back. Hope you enjoy the video. So rather than try to break this axle nut loose when it's on the stand, I'm gonna try breaking it loose when it's on the ground. Okay, I think the torque on that is 59 foot-pounds. I can't believe that was 59 foot-pounds. I, I think someone put it on with an impact. Okay, let's put this up on the jack. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's a first for that. That looks pretty good. I may bring this to the dealer, and guys, please comment, because I don't have the experience with this. So they're saying that the manual says that when it's on a lift, the chain should at least be able to touch the chain guard, which it does, and this is tight, somewhat tight. So that's where it's tight, and it says at the end of the chain slide, which is here, or it should be, that's where you measure it, and it should be 58 millimeters, I think, or two and a quarter inches, but it also says it's almost like they want the chain more loose and tight, they want it to be able to just be able to touch the chain guard, and it can touch the chain guard. 
So I think this chain is very close. If I pull it up here where I can tighten it, I think it's very close to spec the way it is. And the dealer has a ton of experience. I push this brake caliper in a little bit. If you can, this moves back and forth a little bit, has a little free play in it. I pushed it in a little bit to relieve the pressure on the cylinder, the piston. So that, let's take the nut all the way off. We'll take the, the chain tensioner out. Let's pull it out on this side. Let's see if we can get the chain tensioner out on this side. I'm gonna pull that out with the axle. Let's shove the axle all the way forward. Oh boy, guys, this, this is going like butter. Okay, so that's free. The axle's out. Hey, mama, now we have these spacers. And I think my, at my, I'm gonna leave these in because I think he set up, he set up my, I'm gonna leave the, the axle spacers in because I think he set up my new room, my new, um, I believe he set up my new, my new rim that ha it has the, I think my new rim is already set up with the axle spacers in it. So I'm gonna leave this, um, the axle spacers in. And then I'm gonna take a look at how to mount that, that fence. So, the fin, it has three screws that hold a retaining plate on it. And they're held on with a four, they're four millimeter screws. So I'm gonna remove these three screws and then I think it gets, it rides in a section of the brake caliper. The same rail the brake caliper rides on. So I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not gonna show you just removing these. Let's see how easy they loosen up. Not hard at all. So I'm gonna pull out these three. One, two, three. Okay, Marauders, this is the this is the brake caliper. Again, I'm not an expert. My terms might not be right, but I think I know how this goes on. This is the brake caliper. It slides, if you can see this little tab, it slides on this tab. Moves forward and back on this tab, okay? And I'm going to, it's going to slide all the way forward to where it reaches this notch and then it comes out like that. And I'm gonna clean this. See how it's shaped just like that notch? I think this piece fits in that notch. You can see it. And then this retaining plate goes over it like that. Wow, oh, I think I just figured this out. It goes in like that, a little jockeying. Okay, Marauders, let's see if I can get this right. We'll experiment with it. And that has a little ridge in it, so that's how that goes. Let's, oh, mama. So right before that caliper, this piece is all the way forward. It looks like that should fit in and it should come in like that and nest in there. So let's try, I'm gonna have to monkey around with this. I really don't wanna grind, have to grind anything. Oh, baby. Oh, mama. Oh, you know, you try to get it, you try to get it, and then she just pops in. Okay. See that, guys? Now we'll slide forward. Oh. And it's not necessarily sliding forward. It's got to slide back to this position. And I think that's it. Loctite. KTM Original Parts, baby. KTM Original Parts. 
<laughs> you guys who do this all the time are laughing at me. Thinking, what an idiot. I gotta grease up the axle, I'll show you that. And uh, then we'll put the, mount this rear tire. I spent a lot of time researching and doing analysis on what type of axle grease to use. And uh, no, I didn't. I asked the parts manager what he recommends and he recommended to pull off the shelf Bell Ray waterproof grease. That's what I'm using on the axle because this is such a slight tight tolerance, I am going to pre-apply grease at both ends of the wheel. Boy, this is the nicest grease. Man, oh man. Okay, comment. Anything you think I'm doing wrong, you feel free to comment. Say whatever you want. And I, am, I have a feeling I'm about to get in a wrestling match. Okay, so I, I'm thinking I don't, this is the first time I've ever done this, I'm thinking I don't have to put the chain on. The primary important thing is to get the brake rotor aligned with the brake. So I'm thinking I gotta do that first. Get that into the brake rotor. And this brake needs to slide back. Wow. Threads are poking through. Oh man. Did anyone just see that? Did that go, could that have gone any easier? Okay, so let's, I'm gonna pull the axle out a little bit. So I pulled the axle out a little bit because I'm gonna move it forward. It almost seems like the sprocket is bigger than the one that came out of it. Well, I don't know if that was the right way to do that or the wrong way, but it's the chain's on. Okay, let's slide this back. You know what? I think you ordered the wrong size sprocket. The sprocket's the wrong size. So this sprocket is the wrong size. Oh, it, it's, it appears to be 10 millimeters, actually more. It appears to be at least a half inch too big. And I have to reload. So I think these markings, the sprocket that's on here is a pure, it's upside down, 46 by 15, 7, 15, 12. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna flip them for now. So this is a, a, a 52 tooth sprocket. That's a 46 tooth sprocket. And I'm gonna try to flip them. I think I can do it. We'll see. Right or wrong, I'm setting them to 30 foot-pounds. It just, anything higher just seemed too much and unrealistic. The first time it went so easy in the, between those brake pads. Okay, there we go. I got it. So let's... Are we in on the other side? Oh man, we're in on the other side. This is good. Let's put the chain on. Chain's a little easier to get on this time. Yoo-hoo! Okay, so the chain's on. Let's get the chain adjuster on on this side. If I get grease, this you know I forgot. This waterproof grease, you get it on your clothes, you are done. If I get this on this pair of jeans, you guys laugh, I'm not gonna be happy. Shame on me for wearing these. Oh, 
Oh, did that go on there too easy? That is, a, does that guard look right? Brake looks like it's moving freely. I don't like the grease on the threads. Now I'm gonna put, I don't know where, but I'm gonna put a towel in here to add some pressure that is really tight up against that chain spacer. The manual says 59 foot pounds. <laughs> That's 59 foot pounds, is that right? 59 foot pounds, that's what the manual says. Okay, let's reduce, take the pressure off. She looks beautiful. How's that, guys? Is the camera pointing in the air? Okay, woohoo, that's a win. So she's tied up against the tape, the, ten the chain tensioner. She's tracking well. Now I don't know if I should call it quits for tonight. I gotta wake up at four o'clock tomorrow morning to work out. I do that almost every day of the week three days at the gym and three or four days home. I gotta wake up at four o'clock in the morning to uh, get in shape to ride this bike off road. I'm almost, I'm, I'm 18 pounds away from my goal. So, um, and getting much stronger, especially in my legs. So uh, that this was a harder wheel. I don't know if I should do the front or not. Okay, Marauders, we're gonna pound through this. Hopefully I'll get up early tomorrow. So there's these retaining, there's these retaining bolts that secure the, the front axle that need to be loosened. So it wants this not taken off. I loosened it before I started, if you can see it. This nut is taken off. We're gonna slide the axle out on this side. And this was this was part of that six days <laughs> package. I hope it doesn't fall off the stand. Slide the axle out. Okay. By the way, this is the first time I've ever had a motorcycle on a stand. I just was rubbing the axle on my jeans. Okay, so let's let's get some grease here. Remember this is brand new. Let's put the grease on the axle. Guys, you don't know how I want to ride this. So it's 10 o'clock at night. It's about 30 degrees outside and I cannot ride it. You don't know how I want to ride it. And you see how these forks are twisting? I watch Adam Ryman, watch those of you who ride off-road or ride enduro, he is like the guru. And by the way, he would laugh at me how I struggle to ride off-ride. He'd also laugh at me because the Ducati, I'm gonna put a little bit on these ends. He'd laugh, the Ducati ADV bike hasn't been off-road. I don't know if I'm gonna take that bike off-road, we'll see. I'm certainly not good enough or fit enough to take it off road now. Okay, I gotta spin this around, it's on the wrong side. I did push in the brake caliper a little bit. 
to open it up. She's close. I got. Oh, and we're in. We're in. Okay. So let's put the axle nut on the other side. Not going to tighten it. I'm going to snug one of these. I'm going to snug these up a little. I'm going to snug up the axle retaining nuts, the axle clamp retaining nuts, just a little. And I'm actually going to apply the brake. Don't ask me where I heard this from. I'm going to apply the brake and put a little pressure on the front forks. And they say that pressure relieves the stress on the forks and axles, so I don't know. Now it says to tighten these to 29 foot pounds. Okay, let's get this thing off the stand. Never done that before either. The new rims, which were fully complete except for that one sprocket that I had to swap, they'll replace it for me. But the stock tires are back on with new rims to run the road. I'll check the air pressure later. The rotor guide is on, which is all good. I'm sorry, the rotor guard, rear rotor guard is on, which is all good. KTM quality, love that it matches the triple trees. The rear sprocket on the bike. Guys, this is a big deal for me because a little over a year ago, because of my knee, I was on crutches at times and on a cane. And great, due to some great medicine, exercising, good doctors, um, and friends, and especially my wife, I'm, I'm exercising every day, getting in shape to ride that bike and uh, two beautiful bikes. I have to do a review, an owner's review. Um, I broke, I'm almost at 1,700 miles on the Ducati and that's due for a review, an owner's review. And I'm looking forward to doing that and she's done. Give you a look at her. All the accessories are on the bike except for the alarm system, the additional alarm system on it. Um, this is done. I put that off far too long. And the KTM is ready to practice, ready for the road, and uh, ready for winter. So it might be my winter bike. We'll see. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I hope some of you are still around for the end of this video. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, sharing it with a friend. I greatly appreciate your support, and I hope to see you on the trail or on a motorcycle or doing something. Hope you're enjoying your life. I am. Thank you and take care. Ooh, I gotta do a review on the Ranger too. Um, this might be coming up on two years. Not a lot of miles on it, but a lot of use, a lot of hours on my property. So I have to do a review on those. So I have two reviews coming up, owner's review.